Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today we are going to discuss about the massive potential of ICP and OpenChat. I will show you the weekly roundup for both these projects and the sheer amount of growth for ICP and OpenChat based on data, charts, metrics, and indicators. On top of that, we are going to focus on the Bitcoin dominance, the macro liquidation leverage, targets for ICP, and much, much more. So stay tuned and let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, as always, check my community here on OpenChat, one of the most active communities on OC. Link is down in the description below. Join the revolution 100% fully on chain. Now, let me show you the roundup for OpenChat and what they have achieved last week. They're also displaying as ICP a ton of growth across the board. So first of all, uh, all time user registration count. Last week, we have achieved a massive milestone, more than 200,000 user registrations on OpenChat, which is very, very good to see. And I believe uh, OpenChat can reach much, much higher because as I mentioned multiple times on this channel, OpenChat is a complete platform. It has a project and a product that is full and complete. Of course, it can still be much better in the future. They're working on bots now, integration of bots, which is going to be huge, potentially integration of games and many other interesting platform, metaverses, and so on and so forth. And this is a real web tree application with the integration of wallet and many interesting features on top of that. So let me show you uh, what else I'm tracking here for OpenChat weekly user registration count and unique proof of personhood count. So uh, the increased registration is a factor to take in consideration. So more users are now registering uh, with OpenChat. So last week, 1.7 thousand new verified users and many of those used proof of humanity, which is also very good implementation of the side ID as well. Now let's move on to active users, 14.7K active users and 26.6K active users last month. As you may see, the trend is clearly to the upset, which simply shows that someone is using this very good uh, project. Uh, let's move on now to the daily cheat account. And of course, I did mention already multiple months ago that the cheat to chat campaign was an absolute success because it increased exponentially the amount of users, registrations and activity and online time for users on open chat. So very good to see. And of course, the user online time, as you may see, the trend is clearly, clearly to the upside here as well. So very good to see. Uh, developer activity for OpenChat still elevated in uh, the month of November. Also here we can spot a trend to the upside for OpenChat, which is absolutely great to see. What are some new features? Uh, they have uh, some new features, especially they're heavily working on advancements uh, to support bots in the future. Uh, scalability enhancements and some miscell miscellaneous uh, updates that I'm not going to go through here specifically. However, what I want to really emphasize holder statistics for open chat. So currently 136.4 thousand addresses for open chat, which is fairly, fairly relevant. Uh, now key highlights. Uh, holders uh, holding more than 100, 1,000 and 10,000 open chat has been steadily increasing, especially all time high for holders holding more than 1,000 and 10,000 ICP. So very good to see. And of course, the supply uh, of um, users that hold between 1 to 10K chat and 10k to 100,000 chat. So mid-sized investors are constantly accumulating open chat, which is also very, very good to see. So as I mentioned, and I will show you the ecosystem in this video, I believe this is the most complete project in the ICP ecosystem with the product that is already better 
than many other social media in web 2 and that has still a lot of room to grow now let me show you some other uh, data here registration count as we mentioned 202 thousand users already on open chat and keeps on skyrocketing and growing so this is something i will be tracking so what i really want to see i really want to see a new inflow of retail investors to the whole icp ecosystem so the place to be for these new users to get information reliable information about icp and the platform is open chat of course uh, one of the places to be is my community as well free for everyone to join so people can understand what is going on they can learn more maybe some of these users decide to become developers in the future maybe some of them decide to be icp whales in the future so there is a purpose for that not only information but also we can help these people understand what icp is all about and how to use and navigate the ecosystem so we are lowering the entry barrier to the ecosystem with this initiative now let's move on to icp token terminal top layer ones based on 90 day fees what i really want to emphasize here that for example uh, who, which are the projects that are creating more uh, fees than ICP at the moment? So out of those projects, only Injective has a, high, a lower market capitalization than ICP. Uh, others have all much higher market capitalizations uh, than ICP. Tron, Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin and BNB, they're in a league of their own, of course, their market caps are fairly significant and high. Toncoin is, let's say, ca can be, can be, um, and I'm doing this in all of the roundups, I'm uh, taking in consideration also Toncoin, I will show you the revenue. So not all of those, uh, of those fees are really revenue for Toncoin, which I'm going to show you in a second. However, let's focus on these projects that have a higher market capitalization than ICP, but are creating less fees. AVAX, much higher market capitalization than ICP. Near Protocol, higher market capitalization. Cardano is more or less in the top 10. Uh, Dogecoin also more or less in the top 10, much less Polkadot, higher, much higher market capitalization. Even Aptos currently has a higher market capitalization. They're all creating much less fees than ICP. So the money metrics on ICP are really exploding, which I'm going to show you in a second here. So uh, really, I want to emphasize, I just got, uh, uh, basically, I'm just camping in the comment section at this moment of uh, CoinGecko. I'm not letting go. So my purpose here is not so much to get um, ICP relisted, even though that would be very nice, but it's just to prove a point. So all these people from other ecosystems that are following CoinGecko can see this as the top comment and can understand that we are really a real platform that can use AI on chain that is much better than other projects at the moment because simply the security of the network is higher the cost is fairly cheap and the capabilities especially speed of the network is exceptionally high on top of that there are many other things to mention as i did mention multiple times all these people that wrote me hey but near protocol here there guys the fact still remains the same one subnet on ICP, and by the way, ICP has 37 subnets. One subnet has more computation power than Solana, Ethereum, Near Protocol, AVAX, and uh, Cardano put together. One subnet. We have 37, and we are going to add 20 more soon. So this is it. This is the computation power. So you cannot tell me, hey, but they can run AI. What they can run? They cannot even store a picture on chain. We can run AI. We will be able to run AI, AI on chain. Caffeine AI is coming. A big announcement for the world computer is coming as well. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to show you all the relevant news right here, right now. So ICP equals world computer, big announcement from the Definity Foundation. It is coming soon. The world computer narrative intensifies on ICP. Alien Tech will win. So 
Uh, let me show you also all the other relevant news. So uh, Humbug wallets uh, did increase their um, exposure to ICP. They have added 961,000 ICP uh, worth yesterday, almost $12 million in 24 hours. Uh, Bitcoin dominance, we are going to discuss about the macro in a second. Revenue second highest revenue in the history last week of ICP. I'm going to show you the ICP roundup in a second. Still the most developed project in crypto. Guess who it is? ICP. And it's not even funny. The distance between ICP and Mina is quite substantial. So once again, Alien Tech. Uh, open chat roundup I did show you, uh, which is uh, very good. And I did mention open chat is currently doing very, very well. And uh, now let me show you uh, the roundup for ICP. So how much ICP did we burn last week? 27.4K ICP burn with this record day, which by the way, was only the seventh or eighth highest daily burn in the history of ICP. So 10.6K. However, uh, let's uh, compare this with previous weeks. You may see uh, 27K is better than the week before, 24K more or less. However, still far away from this trend here, uh, 37K completely disregard this week. This was a massive skyrocketing event. However, not something that can be sustained uh, for the long term. However, we are going to see the cycle burn rate is still extremely elevated at the moment, which is obviously very, very good to see. Uh, fees now. Uh, ICP did generate $442.8,000 in fees, marking the second highest weekly revenue in the protocol history. So ICP is just printing money and creating more revenue, which is absolutely great to see. So as you may see, the revenue, as I, I did show you on X, constantly increasing. The trend is clearly, clearly to the upside for ICP. Very good to see. So let's compare this with other projects, uh, layer ones with the market cap of around $100 billion or lower. So AVAX first place $703.7 uh, dollars in revenue. Of course, uh, ICP is comparable to AVAX, but we have to take in consideration that the market cap of AVAX is much higher at the moment to I than ICP. So this makes sense. ICP, if we factor in the market cap, is much higher uh, than AVAX because the market cap is three times lower, while the fees are clearly not three times lower. Uh, same principle here for BNB. We are very close to BNB chain, uh, and you may see uh, that BNB has a market cap of around $100 billion and ICP of around 5.5 or something like that. So nowhere near close to that, but still can compete in terms of revenue. Better than Filecoin. And by the way, Filecoin uh, experienced a huge increase also in revenue in the last week. Uh, Tonecoin, higher. Uh, injective, uh, I did mention that injective is a little bit better in the last 90 days. However, in the last week, ICP better than injective. Uh, near protocol, also higher market capitalization, however, creates uh, much less revenue than ICP. Polygon, Polkadot, Algorand, Phantom, Aptos, and so on and so forth. These are all projects with a fairly substantial market capitalization, especially Polkadot, higher than ICP, they're still creating less revenue than ICP. So money metrics absolutely exploding on ICP, which is great to see. Uh, this is uh, the day I mentioned when we burned more than 10K ICP. Look at the revenue profile for uh, for ICP in one day, 163000 dollars which is absolutely insane this was almost the highest daily amount of revenue created in the protocol history i believe one hundred and eighty thousand dollars is the highest and this was created in september with that huge huge spike to the upside of course uh, now i did mention also uh, the fees uh, that i did show you already uh, ICP was recognized by the Phoenix Group as a top, top 10 performer in social activity across key narratives, NF, including NFTs, RWA, and Dappin. Still great to see. Uh, developer activity, still ICP, very, very, very high on this list. Uh, of course, uh, also in the AI space, 
according to sentiment, much more developed than Nier, um, BitTensor and uh, other competitors, so-called competitors like Singularity Net. Holders still increasing, notable increase uh, for wallets holding more than 10, 100 and 1000 ICP, all of which have reached all time highs. Great to see as well. And the final analysis, let me show you. So in terms of, so what are the metrics that I'm tracking for a blockchain? Not only speed, not only low cost, especially security of the network and for ICP, since everything is stored on chain, which should be the case for all the blockchains really, if they really want to have security, which is the most important metric that I'm tracking because I don't want to uh, lose my funds due, due to a bridge hack or something like that, that would be horrible. However, also very important is cost of storage. If we are storing data on chain, the cost of storage needs to be affordable, which as you can see here in a comparison between Amazon Web Services and ICP, the cost is very, very uh, cheap um, and lower than Amazon Web Services. Of course, uh, what Amazon Web Services really does well is the uh, cost here, as you may see, uh, data out, really. Uh, data, uh, I'm sorry, data in, you may see here, free for Amazon Web Services, uh, which is not the case for ICP. However, uh, data out cost for ICP is much, much lower than on Amazon Web Services. So the difference, if we put all this together, is that ICP is simply cheaper than Amazon Web Services. However, people really like to compare the cost of storage of ICP to I don't know, Solana, Ethereum, uh, AVAX, and so on and so forth. It's a little bit pointless, you know, guys, because near protocol, for example, the cost of storage is much, much higher than ICP. But the point is that they will not store data on chain. They don't have these capabilities. They don't want to do that. It's much cheaper for them to rely on Amazon Web Services or Arweave or Filecoin. So simply, there is no even a comparison because they're not doing it. However, with Amazon Web Services, there is a fair compa a comparison and these are the competitors of ICP. So Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, giants, not these projects in Web3, even though they're constantly trying to hide ICP and to manipulate data in their favor. However, uh, the point is that uh, ICP is currently heavily working on partnerships in Web2 and the target audience are big, huge giants in Web2 and the target is still the same, becoming the world computer and beating Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud and other giants in the future. Uh, now, let's end up with 30-day uh, average transaction fees for layer 1s and layer 2s. Uh, you may see that ICP is very, very affordable compared to Immutable, Phantom, Polygon, Injective, Toncoin, Solana, Arbitrum, Optimism and so on and so forth. And on top of that is the fastest blockchain here, as you may see, compared to uh, Solana, Stellar, Tron, and so on and so forth. It's not even funny. The real TPS in the last 90 days is much, much higher. So overall, all this data that I'm displaying is very positive. Of course, the price is a matter of speculation. However, I'm checking growth across the board also on the dashboard. Cycle burn rate still extremely, extremely elevated for ICP, which is great to see. I'm going to go very, very quickly through the macro. So fear and greed index uh, 74. We are down to greed from extreme greed for Bitcoin. Historically, we are still high, but not as high as in the last cycle. Uh, fear and greed index for the altcoins. We are not in the altcoin season anymore. The Bitcoin dominance is skyrocketing. As you may see, this is what I have been predicting all along. A bounce for the Bitcoin dominance. I was predicting a lower high. We could still get a higher high. We shall see. However, this is for me already enough. This is an opportunity for everyone that missed converting Bitcoin to altcoins. This is the opportunity now. No financial advice at all. I'm just talking about a confirmation of something and I'm still expecting a massive altcoin season next year based on data 
of course risk management so always 70 percent likelihood as i mentioned multiple times there is still a 30 percent likelihood that it doesn't play out which is part of my risk management strategy very quickly icp against bitcoin it was in no man's land here it is in no man's land here nothing has changed i didn't mention i want to see a higher high compared to this high really to track a massive um uptrend for icp against the bitcoin pair which is not the case at the moment total tree uh, dropping in a value um, fairly significantly now a little bit recovered but we are still in no man's land compared to my prediction at least at least 2x up compared to this top with loose monetary policy pro crypto environment and so on and so forth let's check very quickly the ecosystem a little bit of a recovery on a daily uh, we had a massive week to the downside i'm going to show you the chart of icp in a second uh, so if we take uh, in consideration take a look at the bubbles you will see green red it's like 50 50 at the moment however um of course we are currently in a correction liquidation leverage if we take in consideration uh the weekly chart here and not the very very short term there is a lot of leverage still here around uh, the top of this move however there is leverage here as well around 12 dollars which is a very relevant fibonacci retracement level on larger time frames i'm going to show you fibs uh, on shorter time frames for the latest uh, retracement which are very relevant fibs uh, and uh, let me show you the psychology now we are in a phase of disbelief and uncertainty as i mentioned because every time after an uptrend you have a correction you're still not convinced that this is the old queen season obviously so let me show you very quickly the levels on shorter time frames so i did mention i have an uptrend here in five waves for icp perfectly fine i was mentioning here i'm expecting a correction it's possible to have extensions but I have five waves so what i would expect is an a b and a c to the downside did we respect relevant fibonacci retracement levels of course we did look at this two times we wicked down but we reacted this was just a week we reacted perfectly to the 50 percent retracement which is a very rare very relevant uh, fibonacci retracement level in crypto so 11.2 dollars did we react to the next fibonacci retracement level yes of course we did we got rejected uh, by the 382 12.2 dollars so we are basically now stuck between two fibonacci retracement levels now what can happen here if this is a wave two we still have space uh, to the downside I, I mentioned if only if we break down because i have already accumulated a lot of icp so my strategy here is if we drop down and if we start trading like this between these two fibonacci retracement levels somewhere here around 9.5 uh, uh, dollars or so i'm going to be uh, again heavily this year in icp um however if that's not the case i'm not really interested here at the moment i did mention under um above 12 dollars i'm not dcing dcing anymore we are very close to 12 dollars here so i'm not really interested at the moment even though um for everyone that missed the boat this is potentially an opportunity once again no financial advice um very good to see that we are respecting once again also on shorter time frames fibonacci retracement levels uh the downtrend could be completed however there is still uh, room to drop to the downside so i'm as always expecting the worst case scenario and hoping for the best case scenario so my strategy didn't change i'm sitting on my hands hoping for lower to accumulate more if it doesn't happen and if it goes up in wave three uh, so this is your micro wave one this would be then your micro wave two completed and then your micro wave three all good we can expect much higher as i did show you yesterday however for now i'm still focused on the short third time frames to see where do we find some support at the moment uh, this looks um this looks like it could continue however this was fairly brutal the point here is that i need to have an abc do i have an abc on this chart well technically speaking this could be the top here this could be an A, this could be an over slightly, very slightly overshooting wave B, which is absolutely fine. And then you have your wave C to the downside. 
the proportions are so-so. However, wave seeds usually are uh, quite significant in crypto. So this could work. This could work. However, this could also be an A, a B and a C, which would be fairly, fairly brutal for many people. Uh, so uh, this is absolutely still possible to see a bounce and then one more move to the downside to shake out everyone once again. So I'm taking this scenario also in consideration, even though I did mention we met all the minimum requirements for this correction. Uh, the 50% retracement is a very relevant retracement level. Last time around on the macro scale, we have reached the 786. It's not guaranteed. However, it's one possibility. So I'm taking it in consideration. Overall, guys, thank you very much for your attention. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, check, of course, uh, OpenChatX for the latest relevant news. And I wish you a very good day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.